Number 16, determine the oxidation states of, an, of the elements in the following compounds. And then we have F, which is RBO2, which is rubidium superoxide. Ooh, okay. So first off, let's just write this over here. RBO2, rubidium superoxide, not just oxide, superoxide. It's a little basic. It's, you know, very very super. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, first things first, if you want a lowdown, the complete lowdown on oxidation states, go check out number 16A. Uh, the link, uh, the, the, the playlist button will be at the end of this video if you want to be on the playlist, if you guys aren't already. But if you are, go check out number 16A where I talk in depth about this idea of oxidation states. But now what we're going to do, and how we how we should find out uh, what the oxidation states are for the elements is what you want to do is you want to try to do your work first on your elements and then you want to just check with your known trend for oxidation states. You should memorize this chart, this trend, okay guys? There's a lot of trends coming from the periodic table. This is only one of them. So it's super important to know what trend to use when so when they talk about oxidation states, just know that we only have to worry about this trend, okay? So next thing, next thing next, right? What we're going to do is we're going to find out what the charges are. And when I say charges, what I really mean are oxidation states. They are the same thing, oxidation state charges. It's the guys that are in the top upper right-hand corner when you crisscross to find a compound. So just like we used those oxidation states to crisscross to find the compound back in like, I don't know, chapter two, we can now take the subscripts and crisscross them back up to see what the uh, oxidation states were. And then we can check with our trend. Now, there's a, there's a trick here. They told me that it was rubidium superoxide. Now, just know that superoxide is a polyatomic, okay? And superoxide exists as O2 with the minus one charge, okay? So you're going to say that this oxygen, right, this O2 is one whole superoxide. I don't have two oxygens. I have one super oxide. Do you see the difference of what I did? I hope so. Okay, so since we're gonna be treating this as a polyatomic, I have to put a parenthesis and I put a one here just to, just to see that I'm not touching this two. I will not crisscross this two up because this is not the, uh, this wasn't the, the, the charge that, came down. This too is part of the polyatomic O2. So we do not touch subscripts of polyatomics. And then RB, so if I could just bring this back, RB was a one, right? So now let's take those subscripts and crisscross them back up. So let's start with the superoxide, right? If, if we do it correctly, the superoxide, which I'll say over here, this is superoxide that's the polyatomic, it should have a negative one charge. And if we take this one and crisscross it back up, that tells me that it was a negative one. The negative is the one that's always in the back. The positives are in the front, the negatives are in the back. So that tells me that O2 was a negative one. So I know that I did that correctly. Now, when I crisscross the other way, I will not take the two, because that's the two of the polyatomic, I will take the one and crisscross it up to tell me that rubidium was a plus one. Okay. So now let's see if we have some correct charges. Now we just check the trends. So they tell me that for each RB I have a plus one, that was our answer. And looky here, rubidium is over here. And we, oh, it's in the group of a plus one. So this checks out, we're on our way. However, do they have 
O2 on the periodic table? No, they don't. They just have oxygen. But O2 is a polyatomic. It's not just oxygen. From, so I will say this, from O2 minus 1, we need to find just oxygen. Now, here we can do something, right? We know that the total charge of the whole superoxide equals negative 1, right? That's the total charge. And just know that the total charge, and maybe I could write this out, the total charge is always equal to how many elements you have. So in this case, I have two oxygens. So I could say 2 multiplied by the oxidation state. But do we know what the oxidation state of oxygen is at this stage of the game? No, that's what we're trying to find out. We're trying to find out what that oxidation state is in the upper right-hand corner for a superoxide. So I'm going to call this an X. We're going back to algebra, guys. So 2 times X, what is that oxidation state for this superoxide? Would equal the total charge. And we just said that the total charge was a negative 1. So now I have this nice little uh, equation here, right? 2x equals a negative 1. Solve for x, I divide by 2 on both sides, and it looks like I just get negative 1 half. So from this superoxide, I know that the oxygen, each oxygen, will be a negative 1 half charge. And that makes sense if I have 2 oxygens and they both have a negative 1 charge, the collection of them, the addition of them, would equal negative 1, right? Negative 1 half plus a negative 1 half is negative 1. So those are my two oxidation states. Those are my two charges. And maybe I'll put them over here. So rubidium was a plus 1. This came straight from the trend. However, the oxygen is a negative one half. Now, in context, this just means that rubidium, each rubidium, lost one electron. If it's a plus one, it's actually the opposite. You lose one electron because electrons are negative. So if you're more positive, you lose negatives. And then on the flip side, each oxygen was a negative one half, which means technically that they gained, each oxygen gained one half of an electron. That's, that's a pretty crazy concept to think of, but that's what they are. All right. So guys, let me know in the comments what you thought. Hopefully this one helped. This one was a little tricky. Those superoxides, right? But, um, <laughs> click the, uh, click the like button. If it helped, just subscribe to the channel. I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you guys all in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.